What's the uh, average length of uh, the leases, your tenants uh, that stay there? How, how long are they generally there? Our tenants, our residents in our communities are not on uh, leases that are longer than any more than month to month. So they're all on month to month uh, resident agreements. We don't necessarily call them leases. We call them resident agreements okay. uh, because it includes not only room and board, but also their care needs. Um, and uh, I know that's scary for a lot of uh, real estate investors, uh, but it's it's something where you have to realize we're we're moving in uh, seniors with needs. So we're talking about assisted living and memory care, um, where moving is very difficult um, on a on a senior. Um, I have grandparents who recently passed away who were in a community who. Um, like many elderly liked liked to complain, uh, but they didn't. They also couldn't move, um, and and so they were and, and they were in a good community, um, and and were well cared for, uh, but so they they stayed until they passed. Um, well, my, and that's uh, typically what we find. My father was in one here in uh, Denver area for a couple of years, and a wonderful facility, very very well run. Um, and he referred to it as a prison, of course, you know, prison with a five-star chef. Right. So uh, um, I think giving up, exactly. giving up control is tough at uh, whatever age you are. Um, That's the, exactly right. When we talk about, uh, a lot of our listeners aren't familiar with how a, a lease works. And they all think with a DST, there's certain rules of a DST that you can't change the lease on it. So part of that with any multifamily or... Uh, or senior or student housing ends up being you have one lease agreement with a master uh, a master lease. Who is that? Is that an affiliated organization then for the for the master lease? How are you guys structured with that? So as sponsor, we we set up an entity as a master tenant, and we essentially triple net lease. Um, so we take care of everything um, at at the community on behalf of the investors and make a rent payment. So the distributions in any uh, DST investment is is our stated rent payment um, to, to the investors themselves. And one of the things unique about Inspired Healthcare Capital is, is in our DST offerings is we have as, as sponsor guaranteed the, the lease payments in all of our DSTs to date. 